Big thumb, Jack, mm -hmm. Joseph. Uh, good evening, folks. I am your co-host, Adam. We got Jamie just took off there. That was a love gram that we wrote for some dear friends of ours called Rule Number One. Welcome to a Wednesday show of Connecting with Adam. Mm -hmm. Hope this mm -hmm. finds you well. Hope you're able to uh, kind of just absorb the show and the evening with us. Right, I'm going to jump right on into a probably what seems like a new song here. I just haven't jammed it in a while. Yeah, Amsterdam, right on, brother. I've actually been to Amsterdam a time or two. Scott Ward in the house and Joseph as well. It also looks like we may have somebody else in the house. Reach out to us, connect, leave a line, comment, press that share button. Great way to connect with us. <clears throat> Thank you. 
expecting the unexpected Learning to let go Reacting and then relenting Learning to let go Can I learn from this situation Teaching myself Good evening, Michael Baker Leave me a little comment, let me know how you're connecting Expecting the unexpected Learning to let it go Reflecting and then reacting And I'm learning to let it grow oh, oh, oh. What can I learn from this situation? Teaching myself how so much thank you so much that was bro we actually have a child uh named ro r-h-o and so i uh, titled that song grow g r-h-o little play on words there so i thought it was a fun and delightful and therefore i did it so this is an all original show um variety show uh packed full of music original songs original poetry stories yeah, it's called Connecting with Adam, and it's all about just connecting. So I appreciate you tuning in, taking the time out of your busy schedule on this wonderful hump day, or hump evening as it is. That's for later. Again, I am your host, Adam. I appreciate you taking the time. Um, if you missed the show, know that we post it later, and also you can um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we're posting on uh, Instagram here or there. Uh, we also do a live show on Mondays. You can come and see us live at the down low. In Loveland, uh, if you're curious about any of that stuff, just reach out to me. We'd love to uh, um, connect with you on that. So there's lots of uh, various things to connect with. And just real briefly, I want to share with you, we're going to be doing a virtual Santa. And I know it's August, but it's never too early to be prepared. So um, reach out to us. We've started to throw a couple like beta ones out to some people. Um, and we've got like really great results from it. So we're super stoked. Um, if you have somebody who would like to, you know, sit with Santa and have a chat with him or, um, you know, have him sing a song or read poetry, we're going to have elves. Uh, it's going to be super exciting. We're really uh, grateful to bring it to you. Um, so reach out to us and we would love to connect you with that.
got some lost friends Some still here and others gone And I'm writing my own song Yes, I'm writing my song Was it left or was I right here? twice so grateful for the lessons the lost sent begin begin again thank you so much thank you so much that was begin agains plurally yes oh it looks like I got somebody just tuning in with us uh, leave me a line. Let me know you're there. would love to connect with you. Facebook doesn't tell me you're there unless you leave a comment. So I would love to know who's there and who's checking out the show and uh, how these songs are resonating with you. Uh, you're just tuning in. We did a Lovegram. Um, I'm glad you asked. Lovegram is um, a company we have. You can order your Lovegrams at gmail.com. Um, and it's basically, um, you know, we're kind of the bridge or the conduit uh, to bring really something special to somebody that you know and love and care for. And I love the flamingo beard, Adam said. Oh, thanks, Adam. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, high fives. Click. Um, it's good to have self-support, isn't it? Uh, Sarah, hey, good evening. We miss you. Thanks for connecting with us. Let us know what you connect uh, with the songs. Yes, we do love grams. Um, we have uh, lots of little businesses here, lots of irons in the fires, as you would say. Um, and, um, you know, we'd love to write a song for somebody special in your life. So reach out to us and we'd love to connect with that. <clears throat> All right, moving right along here. Looks like I'm, I'm going quickly. Uh, Proteus, I love the flamingo beard. Oh, Proteus and Adam, <laughs> same stuff. Except Adam had two exclamation points, and Proteus was like, I love the beard, like, blasé, you know? Well, it had already been said. It's so. true, it's true. Still All right. Later. We're going to unplug this. This bad boy right here. Hello, it's, it's the close-up portion. It's like, what is he doing? What is he doing indeed? Ah, wonderful. And then, do you love the beard? I love the beard. A little, little close-up of it. Actually, it's a little choppy here. I'm growing out my beard because we're doing virtual, virtual Santa Claus. So I want it to be big and bushy and white and all those things. So. Mm. Ah, what a glorious evening it is. Thanks so much for inviting me into your home. I'm not sure who that is there, but if you're tuning in, connect with me. Leave me a line. Let me know how you're connecting with it. Let me know how your day's been going, how your life has been. Uh, I miss my peeps. That's really where the show started coming off with. I just wanted to connect with people. I'm gone. Oh, there's my head. Hello, pardon me. Uh, just want to connect with people.
brother. Sorry about your loss, my man. folks there. Hopefully I caught all the names. Sometimes I miss out. A great way to uh, let me know that you're there is leave a little comment, leave a message that lets me know that you're there. Unfortunately, Facebook does not. If I don't catch you, I don't know. But hey, good evening. Thanks for tuning in to Connecting with Adam. I am your host, Adam. I think I forgot to do this. We're at the season two. Oh, it's a little close. Season two action. And I love this little play on words. Episode so season 2, episode 52, but it's actually the season 2, episode 7th, but it's our 52, or 52nd sesh. Lisa Bacon in the house. In the house. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Hi Lisa. you and Produce A Gender are so talented. Thank you so much. We're grateful for you and your friendship. you are taking the time to tune in. I know you're a busy mama, so very, very grateful for you. I do want to mention to all you fine folks, we got new products in the house, our CBD tinctures. Are flying off the shelf. I don't know if we could see that or not. Or I'm trying. Available in three flavors. Yeah, three flavors. We got orange right here. 
uh, peppermint and natural flavor. It's 1,200 megs. And I'll tell you what, I'm doing a special deal. Buy one of those and you get a free cartridge. So there's all, there's all kinds of deals. If you want any kind of CBD or Kratoms or anything, we're happy to uh, oblige and even send you some samples. So let us know how we can help you. <coughs> um, and then I also wanted to just point out the rest of the stuff. We got order your lovegrams at gmail.com and the rest of the beautiful set. I like this new edition. We've got the, uh, I don't know if you can see the, the ensemble that I've got going on here as well. So thank you, Jamie, and your creations with the hair and what have you. Super stoked to do the virtual Santa Claus because we're going to have, you know, I'm going to be Santa and we're going to have all the hair and all of the things. So I'm very excited to bring that to you and eager to have you guys um, order some of them from us. So that's that. <laughs> All right. It was nice during that piano sesh. I noticed, I don't know, five or six folks showing up. So, always grateful for you guys. Again, this is Connecting with Adam. I am your co-host, Adam. Um, looks like we've got the Robo turn. So, bringing out Robo right now. Wow, you look amazing. Actually, Daddy's going to change the camera real quick so we can get all your beautifulness. Look at that. Well, hello there. I, I'm almost looking like a doctor. You're almost looking like a doctor. Dr. Rowe. Doctor. Would you like to do the Robo Show? Yeah. Robo Show, Robo Show. What are they talking about? I don't know. Robo Show, Robo Show. Silly stories, music, and more. It's the Robo Show with your host, Robo. Lisa, I am excited for the virtual Santa. Lisa, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Lisa doesn't Hi. know this, but their poem will be featured later tonight as oh, a little demonstration. Wonderful. So stay tuned. Well, stay tuned, Lisa. And, and then we've got Sky Ward, Robo Show, and Lisa again. Hi, Ro, you look so grown. Love your hair. Thank you. Aww. I'm actually going to take off brother. so we can uh, have the Robo Show. We appreciate you guys. We love you so much. I'll come back in just a little bit. Hey, enjoy Ro and enjoy Jamie. I know I do. Really grateful. Blessed. The chair. Yeah. Hey, hi. So, today I want to talk about the first meaning of the monster in this book. Actually, when, we're not. We yeah. Change the gameplay. Back up a little bit. Game so everybody can see you. Can you show everybody what's this down here? Oh. What is that? That's a duck. It's a, it's their duck that matches the set. I hope you can see that there. Flamingo duck that matches the set. Can you show show them the other ducks? Thanks. These ducks. You see these ducks on there? There's ducks too. Okay, so I thought we would talk for a little bit about Dowcasin story time. It's Dowcasin story time. Not sure what we'll do, but it'll probably rhyme on Dowcasin story time. Because tomorrow we'll, we're filming six brand new episodes of Dapkiss and Storytime. Yeah! Are you excited? Yes, no, Dapkiss and Storytime airs at 3 p.m. on Thursdays on Facebook and on YouTube. Yeah, you know Very it. exciting. And we have, we've been working on the Fancy Nancy books, haven't we? We have. Because those are helping us with their vowel sounds, aren't they? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, we have two more of those. And then we're going to move into a series of books by Susan Verde that are part of our character development series. What is the name of this book? I am a human. I am human. A, a book, book of empathy. empathy. We're working on ideas around kindness and empathy and compassion um, so we can be better people, right? You know it. You know it, and I thought we would share I Am Human, the book of empathy with everyone so they can get a taste for what we have coming up on Ducks in Story Time. These are all really, really sweet books. I enjoy them quite a bit. <coughs> We've read I Am Love on the, the air a couple times, um, but this one's new for us. It says, I was born a miracle, one of billions, but unique. What does it say? I am a human. I'm always 
I am always learning. Yeah. She's I'm I'm finding my way. And choosing and choosing my path on this incredible Joy. journey. I have big dreams and I see possibility. Curiosity. I make dizzy. Discoveries. Discoveries. I, I have feel a, a feel feeling of, of wonder. wonder. I am amazed by nature. You know it. You know it. I. I. Playful side. Playful side. I find I joys in friendships. friendships. Very good. I I'm am a new human. I am human. Do you find joy in friendships? I do not know. But being human means I am not perfect. I make mistakes. I can hurt others with my words, my actions, and even my silence. And I can be hurt, too. Yeah. It's not nice when you're hurt, huh? No. I can be fearful of things I don't yet understand. Turn around so you can see you, please. Don't yet understand. And timid to try something new. Are you scared sometimes to try new things? Uh-huh. I have a heavy heart when I feel sadness. I am human. But then I remind myself that because I am human, I can make choices. Yeah, you can. I can move forward. A poor choice can become a better choice with thoughtfulness. A bad day can become a great day with kindness. I can act with compassion and lend a helping hand. I can treat others with equality and be fair. It's important to be fair, isn't it? It's very important. I can choose not to fight, but instead to listen, and I can find common ground. I can say I'm sorry and ask for forgiveness. I'm a human. One of billions, but unique. Are you unique? Nope. You are very special and unique. I am not alone. I am connected to my friends, to my family, to the world. We are all humans together. You see all the human faces on there? Wow. Wow. And I will keep trying to be the best version of me. I am full of hope. I am human. human. The end. Looks like, All right. Looks like Shannon is watching this. Oh, it looks like, yep, there's a Shannon. Hi, Shannon Tuman. Hi, And Shannon hi, Lisa. Hi, oh, Lisa. there's Skyward. Hi, Skyward. Skyward. We love you. Hi, everyone. Hi everyone. So how's school going for you so far? Great. What's your favorite thing that we're doing in school? Well, I like writing down the numbers and the um, A, B, C. D. You want to do your ABCs real quick? A. A. B. B. C. C. D. D. E. D. Yeah, that's an S. That's an E. There you go. F. 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 G. P. H. H. I. I. J. J. Okay. L. L. M. M. Very good. N. N. O. O. P. P. Q. Q. R. O. S. S. T. T. U. U. V. V. W. W. X. X. Y. Y. And. All right.
Thank you for tuning into the Robo Show. Can you blow kisses? Say subscribe. Subscribe to my, to my YouTube, YouTube channel. Talk, talk. And like everything and like our posts. Like everything and, and share like these curses with your friends. And share, share Yeah, and, and order your love grams at gmail.com. Your love grams at gmail.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, baby. Great job, Bubba. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I just love that kid so much. So grateful to be their dad and to have them call me daddy. One of the greatest gifts I know. And I feel like I've had a pretty blessed life, so. Alright, we got best row hair piggy tails ever. Shannon Tooman in the house. Good evening, my dear. Hope this finds you well. Stick around, I'm gonna wrap up here with all these comments, and then I'll do another song. Lisa wrote, you are so very special and dear to many hearts. Aww. And then we got Jody Lee in the house. I think I mentioned Andrew Ross and Lee Davis. Sarah Kelly, Stacy Strong, Joseph, Michael Baker, Sky Ward. Got a nice little group here this, this evening. Again, this is Connecting with Adam. It is uh, Season 2, Episode 7, but in totality, it is the 52nd episode. I'm just so grateful to... Uh, be doing that. This makes us our, our first <laughs> full year, so we've got season two right there, and then episode seven, but it's 52. You see the little play on words? Uh. I love that. Uh, we have so much fun here at the Dapkison Studio household. All right. So, next song is called Here. Let me know how it resonates with here, you. Here, here, here. Stay near, stay with me, please stay near. 
so much. Thank you so much. It looks like we've got Helen in the house from New Zealand. Welcome, my dear. And we got Nancy in the house as well. Nancy Gibson Schmidt. Always lovely to see you. I always enjoy your posts of uh, celebration and life. And so, so grateful to have you both uh, join us this evening. Again, I'm your co host, Adam. This is Connecting with Adam. Uh, happy Hump Day to you. This is episode 52. Super stoked about that. So it's 52 weeks. Uh, you know, of it. Um, it's been just a, a really a blessing. I'm just really grateful to um, uh, have the craft and have the gift and the bravery to share it. And um, people like you find folks, um, you know, um, eager to connect with us. So I can't say it enough. Forever grateful. Do me a favor, press that share button right okay. there. Then it could share to your group of people and then it kind of further connects it. So it's a really cheap and easy way to support us. Um, we also have a virtual tip jar, and um, you could order a love gram from us. We're also doing a virtual Santa Claus uh, coming up here in December, so it's never too early to talk about that. Um, later in the show, we're going to be doing a little example of that, so i um, super stoked. We're going to have elves and Santa Claus, and we're going to have different variety packages, and it's all going to be safe so in, in the Zoom quality. So um, anywhere you are, I can meet you there. As uh, Santa Claus, hey, Emily Gentler in the house, hello, welcome, my dear, welcome for uh, showing up for us, welcome for showing up for us. Um, a lot of times I want to be as quick as I possibly can, because I don't know if, pe I assume people are here for the music and not me blabbing about stuff, so. Um, but on that blab, really, I cannot push the, uh, the virtual Santa Claus enough. Uh, who doesn't want to have, you know, a Santa Claus, um, you know, in their own home, you know, you could be in your robe. Um, you know, um, I've actually performed as Santa Claus for many, many things in many venues, so I'm uh, eager to bring that back to life, um, and, uh, check us out. Can't do no wrong with that, right? Looks like somebody else just tuned in, got a busy crowd. Something's going on with, something's shaking over here. Is a table or something? Okay, the cameras. The earthquake! All right, so this next song is Plunge. Let me know how you connect with it. Hey Josh Springer in the house. We got Gary Payne. Good evening, gentlemen. Hope this finds you well. This next song's Plunge. We waited for it. What it ever come? We took Anything for love I will take the plunge with you You see me through and through And I see the best in you Together moving mountains Making dreams come Best in you 
together moving mountains making dreams cool together together moving mountains together together moving mountains making dreams Gary got Skyward saying, Be, being here with you is an oasis of hope and calm. Oh, bless you, Skyward, for saying that. Uh, and very interestingly, you reach out to me about that. My mother uh, wrote this song. Co-wrote it, but actually I started it. I wrote a few lines, and then I reached out to her. Um, she's an artist in her, in her own self, and... Um, Sorry, that caught me off guard a little bit, so it's like, got them red eyes. Um, and, uh, you know, the big reason why I have the talent I have is from my parents and my mother and father, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to connect with them, and we were in the middle of COVID, and I hadn't hugged my parents in, I don't know, 16 months, something like that, a while. It was very difficult <clears throat> for everyone. And um, we uh, co-wrote a song together called Together Apart, and I'm about to do it. It's, I will say it's very interesting doing songs that other people wrote. Uh, being a you know singer songwriter myself, uh, but I'm very honored that people want to collaborate with me. Jamie and I collaborate all of the time. That's how the Lovegrams came about. That's so. true. So yeah, this next song is called uh, "Together Apart," and let me know how you resonate with you. How you resonate with you? I think you know what I'm saying. Pittered in the house, tromboners. I love you, my brother. I broke that peaceful song just to connect with you. I love you, my man. I miss you. Let's reach out. Let's connect. Together apart, it's breaking my heart. Together apart, don't know where to start. Child, but don't touch six feet of too much. Caught in between, it's now and what's being so sudden, so what does it? And in 
the silent months, the center of me. Storm centers of calm. I found me waiting, peaked up after fall. Reflection of loss Battles for boundaries Dream soaked and tossed Still I stand steady Rising from the storm Knowing that for walls can't deal Coming together, sin you and bow together, Paul. Recoping my heart together, Paul. I now know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, that was Together Apart, uh, co-written by my mother. Forever grateful for that. Uh, we got John Pittard in the house. Grateful for you, my brother. Tromboners unite. Uh, and hey, do me a favor, all you fine folks who are tuning in. Uh, press that share button right there. It'll let me know that you're sharing it. A great way to support the show. It's easy. It's free. You got a finger. Press it on the phone. Uh, the share thing or whatever device you're using. And then it shows it on your timeline. And then... Um, it kind of goes from there. A, a few people have done it over the course of the 52 weeks we've done the show. And um, we've got other people joining in, so uh, really grateful for that. Um, we do a live show on Mondays now in Loveland, the land of love, Loveland, Colorado. Um, so if you're in the area, would love to connect with us in person. Uh, and then we also do our children's show on Thursday, and then the uh, poems with Proteus, which is a little bit more uh, adult-based on Thursday as well. So um, I know I've... I've uh, I've dropped it down a lot. Uh, Falcon says, hi. Hey, Falcon, what's up, brother? High fives. So I don't know if you know this, uh, Falcon, but your your dad and I used to play trombone as well. And actually, I was going to get a trombone, but I decided to get a trumpet to learn the trumpet because I already know the tromboner. So um, I love the trombone because it's got the slide. And you just kind of slide, slide, slippity slide through it. And just make sure you do that spit valve. Nasty, but true. And I'm sure you'll learn. Um, so grateful for you, John, and, and Falcon for tuning in. Hey, press that share button. Order a virtual Santa uh, thing from us. It's brand new. It's something we're just bringing out. It's, we're so stoked to bring it to you. Um, we've got pretty good results, actually amazing results so far. So um, grateful for all you folks sticking around. I'm going to take another, or no, no, no. I am actually going to go. Yes, I wrote this, but um, sometimes I get caught up in the speech and, seeing friends here and being able to connect um so actually i will not be using this as well I'll take my hat off to you and yours hilarious ah we're actually going to move the camera here little piano ah i'll tell you what falcon i'm really proud of you for choosing an instrument um, I'm still so grateful that I chose uh, instruments in my youth because I'm able to do it as an adult. And it's uh, one of my greatest gifts I give myself on the daily. So, And you're pretty young, so it might not resonate. But trust me, it will as time goes on. So I am proud of you for doing that. And on that note, I give cheers to everyone. Don't forget to stay high. Rated. Mm. Virtual Santa Claus, can't say it enough. Order Virtual Santa Claus from us. We would love to connect. If you got kids at home or if you don't, 
Uh, everybody wants to be involved, right? All right. All right. Sometimes I get carried away in that. Uh, I hope you do too. I hope it brings you peace and joy. It kind of takes you away from, I don't know, the daily struggles and things that might come up for you and arise for you. So I hope it's uh, 
able to bring you some peace. I wanted to share some real briefly about uh, my partner, Brady, B- Breder, Breder Half, um, Proteus, Jamie. They uh, were really brave and uh, did this event in this local Loveland event um, about mental health and mental health awareness and, um, you know, doing what's right. And I was just really, really proud of them. Um, this um, woman, a dear friend of ours, uh, saw us on our live show. So it's all about connection. That's why we have Connecting with Adam. And um, she has um, uh, this Justice League that um, is uh, in honor of mental health in the area here. And within like 48 hours, you know, um, asked uh, Jamie to do a few pieces and Jamie whipped them up. I just, they're so talented. They're so brave. And I just wanted to share that with you on our show because you wouldn't have known otherwise, right? All right. Uh, we've got uh, Emily Singh. Y'all are so talented. Oh, grateful for that. Um, yeah, I haven't mentioned the CBD. You guys interested in CBD, reach out to me. We've got a lot of uh, fun deals for the CBD. I'd love to throw you some samples as well so you could try it out yourself. Um, so reach out to me. Let me know how we can connect with that. Um, it looks like we do have Jamie coming up here. I'm going to preset a few things. And it has been preset. Um, <laughs> Grateful for you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Love the group here. We've got a, a couple hardcore people. Uh, again, do me a favor. Uh, press that share button. It's a great way to share the show uh, with others, uh, people we, we may not know and may not have the opportunity to connect with. So uh, order your love grams, virtual Santa Claus. Forever grateful for each and every one of you. And I'll be back in a moment. It's been like a week. Missed you guys. Um, uh, Adam's right. We did have an event this weekend, which I was super, super proud to be a part of. Um, calling for mental health first responders um, so that when people are in need of help, they can get help <coughs> instead of getting hurt. Um, it's time for that to change. And I wrote a couple new pieces, but we're not going to do that tonight because this show was already planned. So over the next couple weeks, stay tuned for some of those new mental health pieces. Um, they're really good. <laughs> they're really, really good. Um, tonight, though, I, uh, I want to start with our Love Grams On Demand because we've got a little stack of them and um, they're a lot of fun. <coughs> for those of you who don't know, Love Grams On Demand is a, a fun little part of our Monday show where somebody who's there uh, gets the Love Gram of the week and we do a short little interview. It's super short. Um, about a person that they choose and I write a love gram on the spot and these so these are all written at the beginning of the show each week and uh, there's one for each week that we do it so it's uh, it's growing <coughs> the first one I'm gonna do pardon me is kind of fun uh, we had a, a lull so I wrote one for the dog at the down low where we do the Monday night show um, his name is Zephyr and uh, this one was for him Who's a good boy? Zephyr's a good boy. Tail wagon and full of joy. He'd rather have lovin's than play with toys at the CBD lounge. Come down and enjoy. Um, and he uh, he comes running when I do that one every time. He knows that it's for him. Um, the next one was the first one we or the second one we did. Uh, Nate was the winner that week, and he chose his sister Chandra. I lost you for a long time just absent from each other's lives. I didn't know I missed you so much. All those years we were out of touch. I know your life's been hard as hell because you're so strong. No one can tell. Sometimes stubborn means survival, independent without rival. Your spirit brought us together again so I can be your brother and friend. Uh, The next one was the first one that we did uh, for Sergio and he picked his mom, Valerie. Valerie, you're one of a kind, the matriarch of Sergio's line, artistic soul and courageous spirit, trying new things and being fearless. For all the things you've ever done, I hope you know you have a super proud son. Um, This one was done a little before the show, but it still counts as a love gram on demand for that week. Um, It was done for a friend of mine. In New Zealand for her brother. Um, still pretty special to be a part of. It's for Barney. Barney, you were my rock when we were growing up. I know that you protected me from some pretty brutal stuff. 
You made a place that was safe for me to show my face, to find an embrace, to escape the hate. You're such a good soul, it's hard to give up, to resign ourselves when cancer has taken so much. I think back on all the pieces you gave of yourself finding ways to make our world a better place. I know that you matter, know you'll be missed, when I long for my brother and I want to hug and kiss. No matter how much precious time we have left, it's just not enough, but it's been a gift. Um, this next one is actually one of our new pieces that I'm really proud of and excited about for Dacus and Storytime. Like I said earlier, we're doing some character development, which is uh, one of my favorite parts of school around here. Um, and this came out of sort of our classroom expectations. <coughs> but it's a lot of fun, so I wanted to share it. It's called It's Good to Be Good. It's good to be kind and gentle with others. It's good to treat nicely our siblings, sisters, and brothers. It's good to be thoughtful of the things that we do, whether we're at home or at school. It's good to be present and stay on task, aware of the moment, making it last. It's good to be cautious, and it's good to be brave. It's good to find good ways to behave. It's good to be helpful to those who are near, lending a hand every day of the year. It's good to always try your best, give it your all, and then get rest. It's good to be honest and tell the truth and build bonds with people because they can trust you. It's good to have manners so we're not rude. Politeness avoids a lot of attitude. It's good to be grateful for the gifts in this life. Appreciating people reduces strife. Being considerate is a very good way of sharing love with others every day. It's good to do what you know to be right, whether or not anyone's by your side. It's called having virtue, but really it means that you're an ethical human being. It's good to be fair, and it's good not to cheat. Whether winning or losing, it's good to play clean. It's good to be generous and give of yourself. You can give smiles and gestures and more than just wealth. It's good to show other people respect, and in return, it's what you should expect. Showing regard to another person is a very pro-social way to make friends. It's good to be a problem solver, sorting out the ways to reduce your stresses and make a better day. Not a victim to your problems, just take time to think and put it all together. Find the missing link. Being responsible saves us from trouble, taking care of the things in our bubble. Being forgiving is important too, and sometimes you'll need others to forgive you. It's good that we learn from our mistakes, reducing the moments that make our heads shake. It's good to be creative and bring to life art and music, darkness and light. It's good to be resilient. You're stronger than you think. It's good to know that you can overcome a lot of things. It's good to be good. And it's good to be you. And there's good in so many things that you do. Um, strangely, the next one's kind of similarly titled. It's called It's Okay to Be Okay. Um, and it's a piece that I wrote about the grieving process and sort of the individuality of the grieving process. And I, uh, I know there's a lot of people around us right now um, who need a little extra love, a little extra support because they're dealing with some really heavy things, um, including mourning people. Um, and so this is for all of them. It's okay to be okay. It's okay to wake up and breathe. It's okay to think of yourself while others impose on your grief. It's okay to put it behind you, and it's okay to dig it back up. It's okay to sort through it again and again till you feel you've been hit by a truck. It's okay to avoid what you need to. It's okay to just be how you are. It's okay to get distracted with Facebook work and stars. It's okay to just be sad without having to cheer up and perform for everyone else when you're wanting to give up. It's okay to have good days, and it's okay to feel alive. It's okay to have adventures, and it's okay for you to thrive. It's okay to not know how to feel. It's okay that grief is ever-changing. It's okay to focus on what you need as your life is rearranging. It's okay not to be okay. And it's okay to be okay, too. Take as long as you need. Your grief is up to you. Um, this last one, oh my gosh, is so much fun. So. Uh, like Adam said, we're doing Virtual Santa this year, which means there's all kinds of cool stuff you can get in on. We're going to have customizable songs that you can order for your kiddos. We're going to have customizable poems.
things you can order for your kiddos. Some of those poems can be easily converted and will be into coloring books that you can just print out at home. Everything's contactless, so it's super, super safe. And you can even schedule visits through Zoom with Santa himself. Who's excited? I'm excited. Okay, <coughs> so I wanted to give you guys just a little teaser um, for the Christmas winter poem. <coughs> I apologize. Um, it comes with a little customizer questionnaire. It's short. There's just a couple questions there. And if you answer those questions, I can do, 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 customize this poem for you. Um, I thought I had the customized versions printed out, but we'll get those to you next week. Um, but here's the base poem for now. Christmas time has come again, filled with joy and wonder and family and friends. Such pretty lights adorn all the doors, and the chimneys and rooftops and even porch floors. We count down the days. It's so hard to wait. The magic of Christmas is pretty great. Even before Santa comes with his sleigh, we spend... Uh, even before Santa comes with his sleigh. Sorry. We need to spend time with people we don't always see, whether in person or in a Zoom meeting. We play games that we don't always have time for and make so many foods that I really pine for. We sing songs that we don't sing the rest of the year, loud and proud and full of good cheer. It's hard to wait for Christmas, but harder to say goodbye to the memories we're making under all the Christmas lights. Remember Christmas morning that no matter what you get, our memories will linger, though are toys we may forget. Um, and so what we do is we take that little questionnaire that I showed you and I use that just like we go through the love gram process and we do a stanza or two inserted into the middle to make it just for you and your family. So it's specific to your traditions and your favorite things and the people in your home. <coughs> really a neat option. I have two of those ready um, to share with you next week um, when we come back and maybe even more by then. So you can see how the customization process goes. Um, also, we have a new Christmas song that I am so excited to share with you next week. Um, it's a lot of fun. Now, we'll get on to the birthday portion, um, which is the end for me. Uh, for everybody having a birthday this week, tag people if you know them so that they can feel the birthday love too. The birth of a person as special as you is something to celebrate the whole year through. You help light the world and give it your spark, and in doing so, have touched our hearts. I hope that your birthday brings magic and wonder and a year filled with love until you have another. So, um, those were the love grams for this week. Make sure that you reach out to me to order your love grams for people you love. You can show appreciation. You can um, do thank you love grams. You can do memorial love grams. You can do thinking of you love grams. You can do proud of you love grams. Really, any emotion that you're sharing about another human being, get a love gram for it. Um, I don't know if we've stressed this lately, but there's a couple of really amazing deals that we have going on. We're still running that $30 off for all first-time senders um, promotion. So if you haven't ordered a love gram before, reach out to me and order it. You get $30 off right off the get. And then the remainder, if you promise to share it on your social media, you get an extra 50% off. So just half the price, gone. Um, there's several of the smaller love grams, kind of the size of the ones at the beginning, those, um, the love grams on demand. Those sizes are actually free if you haven't already sent one. Um, so with that, that first time sender discount, most of those would be free to begin with. Um, and there's lots of different uh, packages available. You can get really cute printed out or printable little um, graphics with your words on it. We can also do videos for you. So um, there we go. Reach out, that's orderyourlovegrams at gmail.com. Orderyourlovegrams at gmail.com. Um, and that's for now, that's also the email address that we're using for the Virtual Santa. So if you're interested in that, reach out to me now. Um, so as we develop things, you'll know what's available. And when we're ready to really launch things about mid-November, you'll be on the list so you won't miss out. Um, so many options available. All right, uh, that's all I have for you tonight. I'm gonna go get the other host. Hey, guess who's back? Oh, looks like we got Salim in the house, Aaron Markson, Alyssa, 
Savin, how are you? Welcome to the show. Love having you here. Uh, this part where we come in, the child comes out, and we do happy birthday. So come on out, child. Hi, child. Hi. You got daddy's little beard things in there. Look at this. Super Is that super cute? cute? Super cute. Super Yay. cute. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and connecting with us. I'm connecting with Adam. I am your co-host, Adam. We've got Ro and Jamie Proteus in the house as well. Sky Ward, thank you, Proteus, Aww. for your word, wordsmith prowess. Yes, thank you, indeed. Sorry. All right. So if you got a birthday coming up or if you had one, this comes out to you. Birthday song, actually, Jamie did, and um, yeah, it's really exciting. Really grateful to have the studio in our little home here and uh, to have uh, such a talented family um, to connect with and to bring it to you. So, we're just really grateful for uh, you having us in your home. So, it's, we're, we're wrapping it up already, it's it always happens so quickly. So, um, again, it's connecting with Adam. Season 2, Episode 7, our 52nd sesh uh, in a row. Just super stoked, super stoked to bring it to you and to have that. Um, so, uh, order a virtual Santa Claus um, from us. Order a love gram. Would love to connect uh, with you however we can. Um, yes, this next song is called Hone An, which was uh, inspired by the child that you just saw, our precious Robo. And... Uh, yeah, we kind of co-wrote it together, them and I, so uh, let me know how it resonates with you. Hey, Jody Vincent in the house. Good evening, my dear. Hope this finds you well. Let me know how the song resonates with you. If you guys are just tuning in, leave a comment. Let me know you're there. Uh, Facebook doesn't always let me know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And press that share button. Great way to connect with us. Child 
world holding my partner holding my family mom and my dad sister and brother holding my own holding my family hold one another hold one another <laughs> I love that song. It brings me much joy as I hope it does to you and to yours as well. Uh, and I'm back. A little alarm going on here. Uh, thanks again for tuning in, for taking the time to celebrate uh, music with us and connection and camaraderie. We are forever grateful. Uh, tune in next Wednesday as well and the Wednesdays that follows. We'll continue to bring this to y'all as long as we possibly can. So as long as y'all are tuning in, we'll be doing it. Well, honestly, we'll be doing it regardless. Yeah. So. But we'd, of course, love to have our friends and family celebrate with us. So got two more songs. Um, that last one, again, was Hone On. If you tune into the show later or you're watching it uh, not live, uh, leave a comment, let me know, reach out to me, message me, text me, send me an email, leave me a high fives, um, whatever you want. You could also come visit me live. We're doing the live shows on Mondays forever long. We could do those as well. So, again, I can't say it enough. Again, I'm your host, co-host Adam. We had Ro and Jamie in the house. Um, thank you so much. Grateful, honored. Uh, this next song is called Miles. And it's actually kind of a tribute, um, not so much the lyrics, but the writing of it and the, the chord signatures uh, to my dad. Uh, we called him Miles when we were growing up. He is a man of many nicknames. Um, forever grateful to have his friendship and um, his guidance as a father and a friend. So um, it's an interesting evening that I was able to connect um, with both my mom and, uh, and my dad as far as the music goes and really all of Jamie and Ro and all of my friends and family so I'm um, just really grateful to be living this life so yes this is Miles let me know how it resonates with you Yet I've gained so much You loved me with heartache Yet I've opened me 
as I recognize loss. I feel less abandoned. I've been opened up The longing has lessened And the lessons I felt So right Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was miles. Miles and miles. I find we all have miles and journeyed quite far, have we not? And so far we've survived. Really, really grateful for that and honored to uh, bring this to your home and to you and to yours. So I know I say it a lot. I just can't say it enough uh, how grateful I am for uh, each and every one of you. So we're going to bring Roe back out here. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to do goodbye again. Tune in next week and the Wednesdays that follow. We're also going to be doing the... Um, the kids show tomorrow, the Dapkison story time, and then the poems with Proteus. And you can also see us live. You can order a love gram. You can also do the virtual Santa Claus. We also have an Etsy store, so I know it's a lot of things, um, but it's a lot of ways to connect with us. So, hey there, buddy. What's going on? Awesome things. Awesome things. Thanks sure. for coming back. Thought we'd do goodbye for everyone. Would you like to do that? I miss you. Yeah. Oh, I miss you too. I'm right here, though. Oh, them. No, yes, yeah. of course. Sorry about that. Yeah. fun today I don't want to say goodbye time must have flown away now it's time to say goodbye though I really wish we could stay but it's only goodbye we'll come back another time to say goodbye we've had so much fun today i don't want to say goodbye time must have flown away now it's time to say goodbye though i really wish we could stay but it's only goodbye Come back another day. Come back next week. We miss you. We love you. Order your love grams. Virtual Santa Claus. See you next time. <laughs>